Okay, it's time to look now at uh, one of the harder questions on the binomial distribution. Grant is a keen darts player and knows that his chance of scoring a bullseye on any throw is 0.3. Grant takes six shots at the target. Find the number of throws Grant would need to ensure a probability of more than 0.8 of scoring at least one bullseye. Uh, just to note here, what we're finding here is the number of throws. The number of throws there is actually n, it's what we're trying to find. So it's worth noting that already. Okay, we're trying to find n. We're not trying to find the probability this time. We're trying to find n. So let's uh, go a bit deeper into this question. And let's write that down straight away. The fact is we're trying to find n uh, as the answer to the question. Our variable here, okay, is the number of bullseyes. He takes six throws, so the value lowercase x can take on is uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. Uh, probability of success, throwing a bullseye is 0 0.3, that from here. Probability of failure is 0.7. And what we're trying to find here, so I'll just highlight this uh, question part now. Yeah, what we're trying to find is, well, we know that the probability, sorry, of uh, him scoring at least one bullseye that is greater than or equal to one, okay, is greater than 0.8. We want to find the number of throws uh, to ensure a probability of more of than 0.8 of scoring at least one bullseye. Okay, so. Uh, that's what we're looking at there. So if we look at this probability greater than or equal to 1, that means the probability that x equals 1 bullseye plus the probability that x equals 2 bullseyes plus 3 bullseyes plus 4 bullseyes probability of 4 bullseyes, sorry plus the probability of five bullseyes, plus the probability of six bullseyes. That's what the probability of x being greater than or equal to one means. Now, that's a lot of results there, okay, which makes it a bit complex. But when you look at it, if we look at that, and we know that all probabilities, okay, all probabilities, have to add up to 1. So when we look at that, that would actually, the only one that's missing there is the probability of getting no bullseyes. So all of that, this is important, is 1 minus the probability of there being no bullseyes. Because there's only six, uh, well, there's only seven results it can be, either 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6. If we're looking at um, the probability there, of uh, getting more than one or uh, at least one bullseye, more than more than equal to one, then that's the same as one minus the probability of getting no bullseyes. So if I take this here, okay, that's what we're looking at, and put it over here. Okay, those two things are the same. All right, just uh, rub out that. There we go. All right, so instead of having probability of x being greater than or equal to 1 being greater than 0.8, we can also say that 1 minus the probability of there being no bullseyes is 0.8. Okay, so we're well into this question now. So what can we do next? Well, let's look at the probability of there being no bullseyes. And we have to recall here um, our binomial formula, which we haven't used much because we're uh, using the calculator a fair bit. 
but it's the probability of x leaving a certain value equals ncx p to the power of x q to the power of n minus x. Okay, that's our formula. Let's apply that uh, to this situation. We'll just put a dividing line there. So, probability of x equaling 0 equals, okay, so our value for n, uh, number of trials is, well, we don't know that, nc, we're trying to find that actually, nc0, p to the power of 0, q to the power of n minus 0. Okay, that can be, uh, like those things uh, can be put into the formula there. Now, important to note at this stage um, that um, well, what we might do now is actually put those values in. So it's going to be nc0.3 to the power of 0, okay, 0.7 to the power of n. So we put actual values in there. So let's put that over here now. 1 minus nc0. 0.3 to the power of 0, 0.7 to the power of n. Alright, and all of that, of course, is greater than 0.8. So let's go to the next slide and continue. Okay, we've got the problem now to here. And uh, now what we can look at is a few things here. We should know by now that anything C0 is on the end of the Pascal's triangle. So that will equal 1. Okay, so we're going to get 1 times anything to the power of 0 is 1. Okay, so I can put a 1 there. 1 there. Times 0.7 to the power of n is greater than 0.8. So 1 minus 0.7 to the power of n is greater than 0.8. Alrighty, let's have a look at what we can do next. We can now put this straight into our calculator. Solve 1 minus 0.7 to the power of n is greater than 0.8 comma n, like so. Then we get n is greater than 4.51234. Okay, so you can't have 4.51234 shots. So Grant would need to take five shots. You go up to the next one to ensure a probability of 0.8. So let's review this. Okay, so um, here's the question. Uh, some key details. The probability of scoring a bullseye is 0.3. Um, Grant takes six shots at the bullseye. Shots at the target. Uh, we had to find the number of throws there, which is n. Um, find the number of throws Grant would need to ensure a probability of more than 0.8, scoring at least one bullseye. So, scoring at least one bullseye, that's where we get the probability of x being greater than or equal to 1. Okay? Scoring uh, at least one, so that's one or more. And the probability is greater than or more than 0.8. Now I pointed out that the probability of x being greater than or equal to 1 is the addition of all those probabilities together. Okay, there they all are. Uh, all six of them, okay? It's easier because all the probabilities have to add up to 1, and the only one missing there is a probability of x equals 0. It's easier to call that, all of those, probability of x being equal, well, 1 minus, sorry, the probability of x being equal to 0. That is, 1 minus the probability of getting no bullseyes, okay? is the same as the probability of getting at least one bullseye. So here is our formula. We've now substituted 
probability of x being greater than or equal to 1 with 1 minus the probability of x equal to 0. I've gone over to the side here and used our binomial distribution formula here um, and put in the, the values. Remember, we don't know what n is. Come back over here. And then we've worked through this. Uh, we know that that's 1 and that's 1. Oh, sorry, not that one. Oops, sorry. Go back. That's 1 and that's 1. Um, then we get to here. Once we get to here, we can use our calculator to solve that. Uh, we get a decimal value. We have to go up to the nearest value. We can't have a, uh, a decimal number of shots. We need a whole number. Um, and we get the answer of 5. Okay, that's one of those harder questions. Now, there's a couple of those or a few of those in the book, and they're worth practicing um, because they pop up in exams from time to time. Um, so, looking at uh, questions 23, start a new slide, questions 23 to 25 on page 525.